Have you ever found yourself by reading absolutely opposite facts about diet? Like one article will say, this is really good for you, eat it. And the next one will say, never eat it, it's bad. And you are like, what? How confusing is that? And how to find out where the truth is? I mean, we're talking about health here. So today I'll give you the logic, you'll find out later what I mean, on how to find out is this diet good for me or not. After watching this video, you will know for sure. Let's start with some theory here, basic anatomy. I'm sure all of you know that we consist of cells. If you imagine a brick wall, you see that it creates from blocks and a mortar in between. Our organ builds same way. Likewise, our organ consists of blocks combined together. We call them cells. Interesting fact is those cells all are different in size, color, function, like at a Home Depot, you see different types of blocks, but they do the same thing. They create your organ, your brain, liver, your eye or skin, they reproduce themselves and they die. By the way, did you know that you can regenerate your liver in approximately 12 years? knowing this fact about the cell. Each cell in our body has a purpose and a specific lifespan, but there is a commonality throughout all of our cells. Let's explore that further. Having a basic understanding of what your cells need would help you to optimize health. Regardless of their function, the common element of all our cells is that they require the same amount of nutrients, like minerals, for example. Do you see where I'm going with this? So having this understanding of what your cells need would equip you with the right knowledge to optimal health. It's like to make your wife happy. She asks you that she likes the doors to the bathrooms to be closed all the time. So close the damn doors and make your wife happy. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on this video. Why it will all work? Every day, new millions of cells born in our body and all die, of course. Let's call them the newborn cells as a baby cells, just for the better illustrating purpose, because there is no such a thing as baby cells. So these baby cells are born in our bodies. And my question to you is what these cells will consist of? What do they have to build your organs, your liver, your brain, your skin, your uh, heart? What it depends on that they will be healthy or not? It will depend on what they receive from you. Like, did you give them uh, food or beverages or uh, did they listen jazz music or did you walk them in the forest? I'm, I'm kidding, of course. But what did they receive from, from what you were consuming will depend on how your organ will work tomorrow. So what you gave to your baby cells today, the organ of what they consist of will be looking like tomorrow. So who wants to find out what your cells need every day to grow healthy and build your organs in a healthy way? The fact is, we will put those numbers in the code for you to easy to, to memorize. And I will call it the cell code. And the best part, you will find out what your baby cells like the most. First of all, your baby cells do not eat chicken, ice cream, pasta, or drink cola. Let me explain you how it works. Just the same as for human babies, you prepare a bottle. The same for our cells, they need enzymes uh, to prepare the food that you eat, uh, to cut those food into small pieces 
so and only if the cell needs those nutrients only that it would be uh, ingested because the cell border we call it cell membrane has a really strict rules of what it needs and that's go in or wh what i don't i i don't need it will go out we're out by the way out of the cell what it doesn't need of those nutrients is uh, your headache in the future, your fat, your diseases. This is interesting fact. So we need to find out only what your cell will let in with those waters. So we will have only those nutrients that your cells will accept and ingest. And first of all, what is the most important is amino acids. That you know that this is our cell, it's not proteins but amino acids. Amino acids are uh, molecules because on the molecule level, thus it could come into the cell because it's so small, let's call it, we have the borders with check. So if you are able to, if you have a stamp in your passport and you are molecule size and you are small and you are what the cell needs, then you are able to pass through this border of a cell. It is 28 amino acids. This is what our cell needs to eat, needs to consume every day, because this is how new cells build from amino acids. Those are bricks that builds our walls, our organs, our systems, our body every day. 10 pounds of food every day or 50 kilograms of food you need to eat to uh, have enough amino acid and uh, that's why the point is the majority of um, problems in our body even diseases may may be caused by the amino acid efficiency uh, deficiency i'm sorry lack of amino acid amino acids itself are bricks right those bricks are cells that we are built from our cells our organs our bodies built from bricks from that cells from amino acids so basically the plant itself was made from amino acids. Thus, you can have amino acids or protein from eating plants. Basically in each plant, there are amino acids. For this topic, we need um, 15 or 17, let's talk about 15 most important minerals uh, in our body to have new one to eat every day okay so let's talk a little bit deeper about those minerals the most important and uh, we call them vitally important mineral in our body to have every day is zinc zinc is the king of uh, minerals that must have every day first of all because zinc is the uh, mineral that starts the enzyme biochemical process enzyme as i said remember is a cutter of these uh, huge agents molecule into small pieces from the food that we eat into molecules that actually are able to pass the border and go inside of the cell and thus starts to create the any process right the build new cells so what the symptoms one could have with a zinc deficiency is hair loss any type of skin problems dryness uh, irritation uh, ulcers uh, any skin diseases transforming acne another mineral that is really important in our body so our self must have that uh, every day is uh, selenium Sh shortly selenium is a cell protection let me tell you about the study in china that was many years ago they took 
30,000 people for 10 years and they gave them uh, selenium. After 10 years, they noticed that cancer in those people were 50, 48 percentage less. And it's just one story, right? So selenium is important. Uh, all the other alkaline uh, minerals that you know are calcium, uh, sodium, potassium, magnesium, iron, uh, molybdenum, uh, silver, gold, sulfur. All the diseases in our body are based on lack of mineral. Usually we have deficiency of them, unfortunately, in food. Next, uh, important agent for the cell code, let's call it, is vitamin. 12. 12 vitamins. So vitamins meaning vital amines are pretty much the same and why they're so important in our body in our cellular structures is that uh, all of them uh, have the common um, thing is the free electron like negative charged uh, electron in their molecule that they easily give up and give away uh, into water or oil. That's why some of them are oil uh, soluble and water soluble. And vitally, most vitally important vitamins that all of you know, I'm, I'm sure is C, uh, A, E, uh, B, lecithin, folic acid, D. I uh, want to remind you that uh, people died from deficiency of vitamin C uh, 100 years ago. Uh, vitamin E is uh, mostly uh, for hormonals, for hormones and endocrine system. Vitamin A is important for skin and reproductive system. Uh, vi vitamins uh, B are important for brain structure, for nervous system as well. Uh, be careful with over dosage because uh, vitamins needs to be natural and the over dosage of vitamins may cause diseases as well. The next number of uh, our cellular code is three. The three fatty acids. Uh, this is what we must uh, eat every day for our cellular um, health right it's uh, basically the cell cellular membrane uh, if you have it basically the cell can breathe if you don't have it the cell will not breathe so it will die uh, and as you know they are saturated uh, mono unsaturated polyunsaturated and uh, it's important vitally important to have them every day Adding as a supplement, a, you know, it's omega-360, basically mean that it consists of three fatty acids and 60%, right? The next number is number seven, and seven uh, enzyme groups uh, we must have every day with our food, with our diet. It's a catalyzation uh, because enzymes are catalyzators of all of the biochemical process in our body. Without them, nothing will happen. So you will not receive any of those uh, previous numbers if you will not have enzymes. So this is our code. It's 28, 15, 12, 3, 7. Those numbers are the uh, cellular nutrition code, cellular code we call it, to remember how much during the day you need to have every day for your good health. And uh, it's the basic basis of life. It's basis of functioning of your heart, your eye, your skin, your uh, heart, your liver, or your toes. This is the basis for a healthy life. So if you would eat every day uh, everything to satiate your cells need, this is how your meal plan would might look like. 
It's uh, 11 ounces of greens, 2 ounces of nuts, 7 ounces of beans, 3.5 ounces of cheese, 5.3 ounces of yogurt, 2.65 ounces of grains. To have vitamin A, for example, and I'm just giving you examples, you need 6.5 peaches every day or 40 cherries or 13 tomatoes to satiate with vitamin B2, for example, uh, is uh, 130 almonds or uh, 20 pounds, um, 20 ounces of uh, beans, I'm sorry. To satiate with vitamin C daily norm is uh, seven pieces of lychee or 10 pieces of strawberries with a potassium is uh, 14 ounces of uh, uh, potatoes. Uh, 3.5 ounces of uh, cheese will provide the daily norm of calcium for your body or 11 ounces of greens. Uh, shrimps, for example, to fulfill and satiate yourself with uh, iodine, you need to consume 13.23 ounces of shrimps. So at this point, you realize that probably it's impossible to eat all of that and it was just a part of what you need to eat daily to satiate with everything your cells need and probably you realize that well that's why we have a lot of diseases all over the world just because we are not receiving what our cells need so what to do Obviously, for most people, it's impossible to do. And at this point, you realize why we'd have so many diseases. And the best solution here is simply to implement the dietary supplements in your life. This is what I do. Just make sure that those dietary supplements that you choose has the best quality, they are trusted, they're best sellers, they're natural, it's the most important. If you want to know what I use, just leave a comment and I'd be happy to share it with you. Love you, bye.